So you did break conflict of interest laws? I broke conflict of interest laws, but the FPPC found that the charges were unfounded. That was their ruling, not mine. Was their ruling incorrect? No, it was correct. Well, how could it be correct? I'm not the, I'm not the FPPC. You need to ask them. I thought you did. We'll come back to that in a moment. I do not read your paper. My family do not read your paper because of the damage that your paper have done to my complete family. I and my family do not read your paper. That's yes, for the fifth or sixth time. I've said right that. There. My churches, churches do not read your paper for that particular reason. Your churches, uh, what churches uh, do not read the? Uh, Many of the churches in town do not uh, read it. Would you name those for me? Please? I can't remember all of them. I'll remember those that you do. I can't remember all of them. Uh, I'm about to ask you to remember all of them. Remember the ones that you do remember and state them for the record. It's irrelevant. In other words, irre state I mean, the file. questions that you, state the <clears> ones <throat> you do remember, do not read the Badger Flats Gazette. I don't know all of them. I'm not asking you to tell me all of them. I'm asking you to, do you remember some of them? If you have a recollection of some of them. Uh, New Canaan right. Baptist Church. Pardon me? Sorry? New Canaan Baptist Church. Bethel Community Church, and I don't know, it's many more I can't think of. Uh, has the churches that you've named told their parishioners they're not to read the Badger Flats Gazette? Not that I know of. What leads you to believe they don't read the Badger Flats Gazette? Because I've never, they don't remember, no one I know there reads it. And how many members of the each of those churches that you've named are there. Lacks Foundation, know. he doesn't, it's called for speculation, but if you have an estimate. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you have an estimate? I don't know, I have no idea. Would Reverend Hammond know? I don't know. Yeah. Has Reverend Hammond told you he doesn't read the Badger Flats Gazette? No. But he'd be a member of the church, correct? He has never told me that. But you state that he doesn't, doesn't read it because members of the church don't read the Badger Flats Gazette, correct? My statement was, my relationship with the people and my understanding of knowledge I get from them is they don't read the Badger Flats Gazette. That's simple. And how did you gain that knowledge? Because he asked and answered. He's already told yes. you. Uh, no, he hasn't. How did you gain that well, knowledge? Well, he's told you what his opinion is regarding as to why they don't yeah. read your paper. Uh, you can repeat it again. Uh, no, yeah, no. How did you gain that knowledge? Just by general conversation with them. They never say anything about they read the Badger Flats Gazette. Would you, can you recall one person you've had that conversation with? I can't recall a name. Do you know this person, this parishioner? This line of questioning is irrelevant. They told you that no one ever mentioned your paper, so he figures they'd ever read it. It you goes understand? to the credibility of the witness, and this, of course, Mr. Ratliff, well, is what you're most concerned about at this deposition no, no, today. No, no, Mr. Forty. I'm just trying to, I mean, you keep on asking him what's the basis, and he's totally told you that if they mentioned the Los Banos Enterprise, and he'd know they read that paper. They never mention your paper. It's not that important. So he concludes that they don't read it. That's what it is. So you can ask them again. Keep on hammering away. But, I mean, you're just doing the same thing over and over. Now, are you answering the question for Mr. Jones? No, I'm just saying what he said. It appears that you did. Because I didn't hear any of those things that you said that Mr. Jones said. That's exactly what I said. It is? Yes. Really? Okay, but let's start again. Ask and answer. Oh, no, I'm afraid when we uh, start fine. again is we're laying the foundation not, one more time again. To, so it, I'm not saying you can't answer the question. I just said okay. ask and answer. That's all I said. Mr. Jones, you have stated that no members of several churches in Los Banos do not read the Badger Flats Gazette. Is that correct? No members that I know about of several churches read the Badger Flats Gazette. And could you name for me, please, one of those members of the several churches that you know about that do not read Badger Flats Gazette have told you they do not read the Badger Flats Gazette? No one has told me. When we talk, no one has never brought up that they read your paper, so I assume they don't read your paper. So you just kind of Correct. assumed what they were thinking? I assumed that they never told me that they read your paper. That's what I said. Who do you consider, besides your wife and family members, and God, your closest friend in Los Banos? I have many close friends in Los Banos. 
Could you name a few, please? I have many. Name a few. He's entitled to information if you have it. Hey, I would have said the Pastoral Association, Pastor Keith Skinner. Uh, Wait, excuse me. I, I'm sorry. The, the, the first one was who? Pastoral Association. No, I, I'm asking for a person. I'm giving you names. I'm saying. The uh, Pastoral Association is a name of a person? It's a, a lot of people. If you want, I, I, Keith Skinner. Okay. Okay. So what are you asking for? All of my a uh, uh, hundred closest friends, or one or two. What do you want? Oh, let's give uh, ten. If you have that many. Uh, yeah, Keith Skinner. Well, excuse me. Uh, 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 again, you know, I, I I've got to state for the record is that you know, Mary Jones had just stated previously that he had hundreds of close friends. I never said and close friends. Mr. I said Rat friends. Excuse That's Mr. Rat Mr. That's Mr. what Mr. I Rat said. I didn't say that. So, you know, let's, let's go on. Mm. You know, and Mr. Ratliff. If he can give you 20, he can give you 20. Mm. You know, I, I don't okay. really care. <laughs> I gave you Keith Skinner. Okay, that's the only one I'm giving you. Is that the only one you know? That's the only one I can think of right now. Who would you consider close friends that you can provide me the names of? I gave you the name, Keith Skinner. Do you, but, but you do have more than one. Not really, really, really come to close friends. He's probably the only one close friend I have. Do you consider Mr. Ruben Gutierrez a close friend? Ruben Gutierrez? Or Who Mr. Ruben? Mr. Mr. Gutierrez? Do you know a Mr. Gutierrez? Ruben Gutierrez? I, uh, do you know a Mr. Gutierrez? I, I don't recall his first name. He's a real estate agent. I don't agent. know a Ruben Gutierrez that's a real estate agent. Do you know any Gutierrez that's a real estate agent? No, I don't know a real estate agent. Uh, Gutierrez. Did you ever make a comment at a uh, council meeting? that something along the lines that if Mr. Gutierrez didn't purchase a home in the city of Los Banos, you'd beat him up because you weren't going to be here in Los Banos for... Yes, I'd have made a comment like that. Okay. So you made a comment about a Mr. Gutierrez, correct? But not a real estate agent, Mr. Gutierrez. Oh, I see. So what is Mr. Gutierrez? Mr. Gutierrez is an insurance agent. I see. And what is his first name? Uh, Joe Gutierrez. Joe Gutierrez, okay. I see. So, um, would you consider Mr. Joe Gutierrez a personal friend? Close friend? Just a friend like everyone else in town. He's not, a, I name my one personal close friend. He's not that type of friend. So I take it Mr. Gutierrez would understand that if you, you threatened to beat him up, that he would just consider that just a, a fun comment. I think so. I see. Mr. Jones, if I was to say that I was going to beat you up, would you consider that a fun comment? I would probably be happy. You'd probably be happy? Why is that? It'd be a good thing for you to try to do. <laughs> Pardon me? It'd be a great thing for you to try to do. And why is that? <laughs> All the time I spend in Vietnam, I would love it. And why would you love that? I don't have no Let's not pursue I'm not going to go there. No, he can explain questions. his answer. Yeah. Mr. Jones, why would you be happy? if Mr. Forty was to say that uh, he was going to beat you up? Because I could go turn you into the police. But didn't you first say that uh, you'd be happy due to your serving in Vietnam? Yes. And why would that make you happy? Would, yes, that, would, would, would that give you some reason to be able to report this to the police department because you served in Vietnam? What did your training in Vietnam have to do with anything considered making you happy concerning if Mr. Forty said he was going to beat you up? Nothing. I would simply be able to go and report it to the police. Because you had served in Vietnam? Yes. If you had not served in Vietnam, would you be able to report to the police Mr. Forty saying that he's going to beat you up. I don't know. I may would be afraid to go and report it to the police. Pardon me? I may would have fear in reporting it to the police. You may have fear in reporting it to the police? Yes. Why is that? I just said why. Because yeah, of fear. It's all speculation. Yeah. Yeah. Fear you know, of what? Fear of you. So your reference to serving in Vietnam was not you in any way trying to infer that you would be happy if Mr. Forty attempted to beat you up because you would beat him up. No, I don't. I'm a Christian. I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't have no 
no accusation of what our Mr. Forty would do. No what? I have no, I don't have no idea of what he would or wouldn't do. I don't have any any realm of what Mr. Forty would or wouldn't do. I don't, I don't rule out anything that he would or would not do. What is that second word you used? Realm? What was that? Realm. 